it has been tough, it has been difficult, it has been rough. Ahmed Idris there, in brief lines describing what the running of the nation's treasury is like in the past two years. However, massive reforms have been evolving to cushion the effects of reduced revenue and infused sanity in the nation's public finance system. But then information technology remains a key driver for these to happen and government says it is putting in place the necessary parameters to ensure that technology gets its rightful place in running the accounting system of the government. We knew that uh, it would still come out fine. And when you go through large-scale implementations like this, it's not unusual to have some initial turbulence. But if you remain focused, you know what you're doing, um, most of the time it comes out right. Yet, with technology comes challenges peculiar with it as not all MDAs have been captured on IPs and TSC platforms and compliance has some exempt for obvious reasons. It's not that the universities found it difficult to come and join the TSA. It, so many other government agencies and departments too uh, because change in any human society uh, is always you know, made with a lot of resistance. We have achieved uh, 19... 8% compliance by way of MDS moving their accounts onto TSA. For those where we have issues, uh, we are working uh, with, in, in collaboration with relevant agencies, the CBN and the agencies concerned, to really make sure that there is full compliance. Within the period under review, the federal government came up with the efficiency unit as well as the continuous audit department to keep the account books clean. The financial reporting standard, a globally accepted tool, has continued to gain momentum. Now, only recently, government announced an approved new interest rate spread on unpaid taxes for the year 2017. The new interest rate shall be 5% over the Central Bank of Nigeria's minimum rediscount rate MRR for the year 2017 starting from July. Efforts have been on to show up the level of tax compliance in the country and experts during the period can vast a rise in tax responsibility as Nigeria's tax to GDP ratio remains one of the lowest globally. So we are determined to ensure that our tax policy sends the right message being that Nigeria is open for business and is encouraging businesses with a tax system that is easy to understand and easy to comply with. Areas of our tax code and laws that are in need of review will be addressed as part of this exercise, as will modalities for simplifying our processes and reducing the tax burden on small businesses. However, there seems to be a general consensus that the evolution can only get better with time. In Abuja, I'm Lekatung Baba today, NTA News.